everyone uh, and welcome to another uh, webinar on um, different career aspects uh, for our migrant community. Um, this is a series which has been supported by all of our stakeholders and supporters like uh, Franklin Agritech, Legal Associates and uh, the Indian High Commission as well, um, who wants to work for the welfare of the Indian community in New Zealand. Um, uh, the series of webinars which we are conducting is basically to put a spotlight on different aspects and career avenues that are available for the migrant community and uh, people in general, not only migrants, even uh, New Zealand citizens and uh, residents as well. Um, we cover various aspects. Last uh, webinar was on LinkedIn and immigration. And this time again, uh, we are talking about careers in horticulture and immigration updates. Now, a little bit about why horticulture. Uh, you know, this uh, uh, pandemic has obviously created a lot of uh, chaos in different sectors. So many sectors have uh, uh, seen a decline, but some sectors have actually seen an uprise in uh, the growth and horticulture is one of them. And I'm sure uh, Mr. Saini will uh, tell us more about it in his presentation. So, uh, you know, it's actually a, a horizon industry uh, which is growing and uh, is set to grow more in the coming years. And uh, therefore, it's a very vital part of the New Zealand economy. And uh, uh, the government of New Zealand itself is, uh, you know, supporting um, and inviting uh, people from various fields uh, to come and work in the horticulture sector. And today, Mr. Saini will, uh, uh, we are actually very honored to have both our guests, Mr. Raj Saini, um, uh, who's the director of Franklin Agritech Institute. And then we have Mr. Raj Saini, who is the principal uh, from uh, Legal Associates. He's an immigration uh, lawyer um, and, and very big supporter of the migrant community. Uh, he gives a lot of his time for volunteer work and also supports organizations like us. Uh, you know, he goes all out to support us as well. Um, so thank you to both of you uh, for taking out your valuable time. Um, and uh, I know, uh, 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 you know, at this time, immigration is a hot topic. A uh, lot of changes are happening all the time. And many migrants are and unfortunately very confused. So today, uh, Mr. Saini will uh, talk about, um, sorry, Mr. Raj Singh will talk about what are the latest changes in immigration and uh, what the horizon looks like. So um, without uh, much uh, ado, I will uh, first we'll start with uh, uh, Franklin Agritech. Um, I will request all other speakers to kindly mute themselves. And uh, I will first introduce uh, Mr. Raj Saini. So, um, uh, welcome, Mr. Raj Saini, um, uh, to our event. And uh, just a quick formal introduction about you, and then I'll give it over to you. So, Dr. Raj is an entrepreneur, horticulturist, and educator based in Auckland, New Zealand. He's the director of Franklin Institute of Agri Technology and Rupex Grotech, a production plant nursery in the food bowl of the Auckland region. Dr. Sen is a PhD in crop sciences from the Punjab Agriculture University in India, and his research career has included positions of various fellowships, um, which is a long list. Um, uh, uh, he has, he's also a member of various um, organizations like the International Horticulture Society, New Zealand Institute of Agriculture and Horticulture Sciences, New Zealand China Trade Association, and the India New Zealand Business Council, and many more. His business career spans more than 35 years, working in India, Nigeria, and New Zealand, and includes agri-business management, R&D planning, technology generation, transfer, crop and nursery production, staff training, and marketing. He has uh, 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 published over 50 articles in national and international academic journals and professional periodicals covering India, Africa, and New Zealand. So you can see uh, we are honored to have Dr. Rajseni with us. Thank you, sir, for giving your time to us uh, and our trust and our migrant community. So over to you, Mr. Saini, uh, for your presentation. Oh, uh, thank you, Gariji, for such a nice big introduction. <laughs> I will try to justify what you have said in the presentation. So what I will do is, good morning to everybody. Uh, what I will do, I'll share screen because I have a PPT and I'll start from there. Now, this uh, presentation is about uh, uh, studying and working in horticulture. So that's the main theme. 
and the opportunities which exist in this sector. So this is about New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand horticulture, what's the potential? See, New Zealand has a low population density, 18 people per square kilometer, high productive land in the country, which is like 14% of the total land area. The production is high tech and, uh, and the domestic consumption is low because the population is low and this offers high potential for export of surplus produce. New Zealand niche advantage is it has ideal climate, ample water, productive land, and there's a strong quality control traceability regime in the country. The weather is good. The, the main feature about the weather is that being in the Southern hemisphere, it's just in the opposite months, like in the month of June, here it's winter and while it's summer in the Northern hemisphere, that gives a very tangible advantage for exporting fresh produce from New Zealand. Because at the time when the Northern hemisphere like Japan and Europe can't produce the things, can't produce the produce, that time it can be done in New Zealand. Onion is very good example, many cut flowers, many other things. Naturally grown, GM free, ethical operations, good flavors. The, the thing is that New, Ze New Zealand produce is valued as a premium produce all over the world. So that's the main thing. And we can do it in the seasons, in the period when it's not available in other parts of the world. Just a photograph. What is horticulture? Uh, some of the people have asked me this question from time to time. Uh, everybody is maybe familiar with agriculture. So horticulture is a branch of agriculture for growing fresh produce. Nursery business is a big line, vegetable production, both outdoor and in the greenhouse. Herbs, uh, medicinal plants, etc., is a good line. Cut flower, uh, potted flowers is, is a big business. Landsic landscape industry has come very well with the new boom in the housing market. So a lot of demand for the landscape plants. Revegetation, uh, native plants, uh, they act as a carbon sink. There is massive demand for that the, those plants as well. And for honey production, manuka plants are in demand a lot. Fruities, fruit trees, we know apple, pear, kiwi fruit, apricot, all of these are grown in New Zealand. Turf and parks for sport uh, is very well developed. Grape and wine industry is a big industry in the country. So these are the main sectors of horticulture. Horticulture production systems, uh, home gardens, it looks small thing versus a big business. All the garden centers are aiming at the home gardeners. Family farm, where probably the migrants can get into, greenhouse production, controlled conditions, outdoor growing, open field is a lot. High tech vertical farming is coming up in New Zealand. That's where we are trying to focus on that. The other plus point is in New Zealand, there are specialized production zones. Like if you look at the map of New Zealand, Look at anyone, like look at Auckland, it's mainly vegetable. Look at Toranga, it's mainly kiwi fruit. Look at Nelson, uh, you know, area, it's mainly grapes and grape wine. So like that, the advantage is, uh, it's not that everybody is doing everything. Uh, it's more like specialized growing of some specific crops in different parts of the country where you can have the maximum production and good quality. So, so that, that's the plus point as well. Horticulture role in New Zealand economy, horticulture sector contributes more than $10 billion in the year to June 2020. Just to compare, uh, I think uh, uh, tourism industry was contributing, I think $6 billion or something. And education, when it was on the, the peak, it was doing like $4 billion to New Zealand economy. So $10 billion is very significant for the economy. Export uh, for last year is 6.65 billion, roughly half billion more than uh, 2019. Hortical export accounts for like 11% of the total merchandise export from New Zealand. In the last 25 years, horticulture export has expanded from 1.25, 1.3 billion dollar to 10 billion at the moment. 
so this is the financial part the other good part is that it's based on range of commodities not only one or two or few commodities and also the export destinations are quite quite wide so it gives resilience to the the horticulture export or horticulture industry in the country this is the growth of the export you can see 1995 to 2020 so this is uh, the diagram showing the export uh, destinations the big one is asia i don't want to move the asia is the big one continental europe so you can see there are many countries in the world where the 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 horticulture export uh, goes so basically the idea is if one market is not doing well we have the second market available so th this is uh, this adds uh, strength to the the, the horticulture and the export industry uh horticulture knowledge and skills need in the country so one of the major enab enabler for the growth in horticulture is the availability of skilled workforce so this is the one major thing you might have seen lot of articles lot of uh, news about the shortage of skill skilled manpower it's not just the labor it is a skilled manpower as well workforce as well horticulture sector is fast expanding getting more and more specialized modern production requires a combination of personal scientific uh, and practical attributes the statement by jos da silva who was former secretary for uh, secretary general for fao food and agricultural organization he said the future of agriculture is not input intensive but knowledge intensive you know the big growth has come through increasing inputs into the horticulture before but now it is the technical skill of the knowledge uh, which has to go into to big bring big big change why study horticulture serious i mean why study horticulture in new zealand serious shortage of skilled staff in agri horticulture sector immigration new zealand has included uh, it in the skill shortage category thousand it's a projected that thousand of trained horticulture graduates are required in the near future under covid 19 horticulture is classified as essential service as uh, mr gary said uh, the demand in horticulture sector has increased especially the nursery sector a lot of more demand enrollments the domestic enrollments in horticulture has been declining that's where we have to come in and uh, act fast has created a big skill gap in the workforce and that offers a great potential to the migrants to fill in that gap this is a diagram uh, showing about 15000 people more required uh, in the coming 4 uh, 5 years and the last line says an additional 26000 trained workers to replace the natural attrition of the work workers within the industry so this is a big uh, uh, you know demand what we can do as franklin institute what what is franklin institute uh, it is set up by qualified experienced people located in the main food producing regions of the country two places of auckland pukekoe and toranga bay of plenty which is the main kiwi fruit uh, producing area approved and accredited to nzqa so any qualification done will be listed on nzqa website the training facilities are sited on a commercial production site uh, this is the detail of the production site 8000 square meter greenhouses water sources 25 acre land and uh, we are based on 760 glenbrook road it's one of its kind uh, normally you know the 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 certificates and degrees are provided by the institutes uh, who cover lot of disciplines like business and uh, it and everything but we only do horticulture in touch with the commercial sensitivity in real time operate we operate as part and parcel of the horticulture industry we are we are associate member of new zealand horticulture they just uh, one photograph the the watermelon seedlings being produced why study horticulture at fiat the courses are designed to meet the industry needs so when i designed the courses that industry needs uh, in in front of me 
offered on site with hands on training the, the courses are market driven outcome based not not just that we give them certificate or diploma it's is meet the market demand well accepted and demanded by the employer we do the job placement as well employment at the moment is 100% all the, the the graduates and the current students who are willing to work are working in horticulture industry we pro it provides relevant ac academic and practical training horticulture courses at fiat uh, what are the horticulture courses offer we of two courses and that certificate in horticulture production and the other one is new zealand diploma in horticulture production level 5 each course is of one year duration it's about 40 weeks in the year and each week the students are expected to uh, study 20 hour uh, a week which is uh, normally on site but it could be a combination like online and on site the 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 program is skill based not just theory it is applied i already said approved and accredited to nzqa international students are eligible for student visa while they study and the work visas after 2 year of studies i think uh, raji rajpradeep uh, will cover it in detail recognized by immigration new zealand and tertiary education commission so courses are recognized by the two agencies the study information a uh, zero fee for nz citizens and prs so no fee for the for new zealand citizens and the permanent residents domestic students the age requirement minimum is 17 years for international minimum is 18 years and there's no upper age limit so mature people who want to change the career or want to develop themselves into horticulture can join international student the english requirement is not that high ielts 5.5 with no band less than 5 uh, domestic students we just need the workable english so they can understand and uh, read and write job placement is assured for all interested uh job orientation it's not only uh, we teach the, the the technical part we make them ready for the job uh we do offer other courses like uh, we do outsource uh, other other certificates like uh, grow safe which is very valued in the market uh, in with the employer also we organize the the forklift license first aid uh, certificates etc depending uh, students what they want to do extra so qualified experienced and uh, friendly staff so it's not that uh, we stay apart from the students they are free to uh, come to the site call the us any time uh, surprisingly many student they do come even in the other days when the college is not there they come and sit on in the holidays they come to the site they say no it's good we can sit here and work so that's a good sign what will you study uh, the mainly uh, it's the base, basic knowledge about how plants grow which is which is uh, a significant part of growing plant nutrition and irrigation systems what different systems they can use growing media soil we have seen all of us but what we use mainly is the soilless media of the hydroponic system which is uh, uh, an nft nutrient film technology uh, kind of thing growing environment you know each plant needs optimum growing climate and how to manage and how to best provide that one that's a significant part in growing disease pest and weed management is a significant part to cut down the losses in the crop operational management uh, how to keep the cost down how to get the things done is is other component the, the the this next part safety traceability quality requirement is very strong in new zealand so that's where you know this study is different from uh, other parts of the world green supply chain green supply chain challenges so green supply chain has the challenges it's very very demanding it's not, not like uh, nothing close to the peasant farming where the people produce whatsoever they can produce and sell it it demands the demands are so strict they specify to the growers 
they need 20,000 heads of lettuce every week throughout the year on this particular day. So they have to supply. If they can't supply, they probably buy and supply. So we are part of uh, that green supply chain. We handle the first part, doing the vegetable seedlings. Different growing systems, I briefly mentioned, but uh, the different, uh, you know, outdoor, greenhouse, hydroponics, aeroponics, so different growing systems we introduce uh, to the students. Future uh, prospects, jobs is the main thing. Plenty of jobs available in different sectors. Sectors I already mentioned, nursery and, uh, you know, grape and other things. What kind of roles the student can acquire? Production staff is the main role, which they get after. We, we train them in production, so that's the main thing they get into. And it's easier to find those jobs in greenhouses and outside. The others get bit specialized, like a plant nutritionist or the grower. Grower is a, is a very responsible uh, job in this industry. In bigger projects, they can, they can do that. And some of our students who did like first batch, second batch, they have gone to that stage. They handle that. Disease, disease pest scouting is one good line, which is specialized. Sales person uh, is the other thing. Like in, many students have gone to garden centers. Then landscape garden is the other one. A lot of students are going into landscaping industry. Salary range. Uh, they start at, uh, most of them, they start at uh, minimum wage, but very soon they progress. Uh, our, our students who started like uh, studied, uh, graduated three years back, some of them are like 26, 27, 28 dollars at the moment. Even in the other company, Rupex, the, the one of the students is getting 27 dollars at the moment. So this is the reality on the ground. The other good thing is both men and women can build their futures. There are a lot of ladies who have joined this uh, study and, and normally they get work in the greenhouse greenhouses in the nursery industry, some of them even gone to landscaping. This is our photo of the graduate ceremony. So all of these uh, students are employed. Uh, one, okay, after studying uh, uh, this course, these courses, you can find job. The other one is set up your own business, which is, uh, which can be a good line for the New Zealand resident and, and citizens. You have to have the qualification and some experience in the field, then you can get into this one. Contracting is very good. The people has become contractor which are specialized, like they do particular operations or they handle a particular aspect. Very good returns in this line. Production, you can set up your own production unit, start small, grow big. You can start small. Low capital requirement is that uh, you can lease a property and, uh, and, and start from there. Use family time because labor is the main, one of the main costs. So that can, you can save on that. Low gestation period, quick returns. Like if you start, some of the crops start uh, giving return in three months time or, or four, four months time. So don't need to wait for years. You can, we can link uh, the, the students to the experts who are, who are like you want to do tomato growing, we know who are the guys, who are the right people, where the markets are, so we can guide them uh, on those aspects. Or if you have capital base and experience, they can buy on uh, buy ongoing horticulture business. So there is quite a few lines you can get into that. Study pathways, study further, degree, diploma, postgraduate possibilities are there. Specialize into production systems specific dis disciplines like retail replacement, et cetera, supply chain management, general marketing and sale. This one is the important uh, future prospects in home country. In case you decide to go back to the home country, uh, quality jobs in green supply chain are available. The green supply chain is fully established in New Zealand, but in countries like India, China, uh, Southeast Asian countries, many places, Africa, it is just taking shape there because supply chain has its, its very strict requirements. So if somebody has studied, got some experience in New Zealand, if they go back to the home country, uh, they will be very valued. They can get good jobs. 
uh, they can set up uh, the glass house production system. Uh, the yield is, yield is in multiples, very high quality uh, of the produce, sustainable production system. Viable production units on a small land. You know, the, the, the countries, big countries like India, the land holding size has reduced a lot, gone down to like five acres, three acres, two acres. Uh, it's not viable uh, on that small piece of land, it's not viable to do growing. But if you have two acre piece of land, you set up 4,000, 5,000 square meter of greenhouse, two acre is 8,000 square meter. 4,000 square meter greenhouse is, is, is enough for a small family. They can do full-time work in that. So that becomes viable uh, possibility on small piece of land. Okay, the, this is uh, our story. Why I am doing this is we also came as a migrant to New Zealand in 1995. So I will run through quickly uh, about myself. So I finished my uh, qualification in 1976 from Punjab Agriculture University, Ljana. 76 to 85, I worked with the Ministry of Agriculture, New Delhi uh, in food crops research management. 85, I went to Africa. And uh, for the next 10 years, I was handling large scale farms management and agri exports. That's what I did in Africa. 1995, came to New Zealand with, with family and bag and baggage uh, and started here. Uh, 95 to 98, I worked as uh, with, with the, some uh, seed company. And 1998, set up our own business, Rupex Growtech Limited, which is a wholesale vegetable plug plant and data seedling company. So that's that's even today that's the main line of our business. Uh, 2016, uh, by the time my son took over the operational part of the business, so I had time. So I set up uh, Franklin Institute in 2016 uh, for extending benefit of training to the to non-staff or the young students. Currently 2021 based on 760 Glenbrook Road, King Street. That's where I'm doing the webinar at the moment. And that's where you have the, the greenhouse under everything. So this slide shows, if I look out of the window, I can see this one. So we are based on site and that's where the horticulture uh, uh, training center is. So to summar, summar, summarize, I will say join Franklin Agritech, build your bright future in New Zealand. To summarize the points, horticulture is a booming industry in New Zealand, acute shortage of skilled workforce to handle the specialized tasks. Fiat offers one year and two years courses in horticulture production. These qualifications are very well received by the employer. All, all, all the graduates and the current students are working in horticulture. New Zealand immigration has included these qualifications in skill shortage list and also and the government has included in, in the essential skills, uh, essential services. Learn while you earn or earn, earn while you learn. There are a lot of opportunities. Opportunities are waiting for the trained people. Come join Franklin Institute and contact us. My name is Raj Sani, phone number is there or go to our website, uh, www.fear.ac.nz. So this is a photo of the graduation ceremony. Uh, so well, that's all. Thank you very much for that. I can I can yes. do the video if the time is there. Yes, we can do video, sir. Yeah, we have time. Yeah, you have finished okay. in time. Very much. All right, all right. Franklin Agritech is an NZQA registered private training establishment housed on a 24 acres agricultural production site and operates as part and parcel of the Rubex Group of Companies. We have two branches in New Zealand, Auckland and Tauranga, both based on production sites where students get actual hands-on experience. Franklin Institute of Agrotechnology is uh, based on a production site. And uh, uh, we have been doing a hot production for the last 20 years. And we have a lot of uh, technology which works on the ground. So we teach those skills to the students and those are very much valued by the growers, by the employer in the field. Our main emphasis is 
on growing plants from seed and then uh, we also teach them how to grow plants from cuttings and tender techniques for budding and grafting which are very much required in the, in the fruit trees and also then how to manage those plants in the greenhouse and in the outdoor situation. Students always come first at Fiat. A range of guidance and support systems is available to students in order to ensure that a safe, caring and supporting environment is created for students which meets individual needs and provides for full personal development. Fiat is committed to helping students achieve the best outcome from their study. Doing my level 5 in horticulture studies uh, with wonderful students from all different parts of the country. I'm studying horticulture because I'd like to learn the practical side of growing and we learn how to transplant and grow plants from seedlings. I have passion for horticulture, that's why I am here. I'm learning new techniques, lots about the industry here. I've, I've learned uh, production planning and how the glass house works uh, because in Malaysia there have been not much glass house, that's why it's quite instant, interesting here. Actually I learned uh, agriculture back in my country so I want to learn uh, more about horticulture. I'm here to study agriculture because I want to have a better life. Um, if I have chance, I want to start my own business with uh, the knowledge. Oh, I have been learning horticulture level 5 and that teaches me different things like how to do grafting, cutting and how to, do, how to grow plants from seeds and all. FIAT has a very good academic focus for in-class study and providing them with the knowledge to excel in the fields. So in many institutes, people sit in the class and they learn about things but they can't do practically. But at Franklin Agritech, we teach them how to go on the ground and do things. And they learn, starting from the basic stuff, they learn all the technical and hardcore commercial techniques which can help them to get better jobs in the industry. Come study horticulture at the Franklin Institute of Agritechnology in New Zealand and build your bright future in this booming sector worldwide. Have any questions? Please visit us at www.fiat.ac.nz.